All right, hello again. I am Connor and I'm here with Ted. And uh, Ted, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah, so uh, I'm Ted McIntosh. I'm a Harvard Extension student. Uh, and this is my project, Breakout 50. It's a game that's built uh, using Lua and Love uh, that I built as my CS50 project. Cool, yeah, do you want to give us a quick run through of what it does? Okay, sure. So you can see there's, there's basically like the, you know, the controls here and, and uh, so basically you can get into the game and if you launch the ball here, you can, break, you can break the balls in a couple of the blocks. They have multiple hits to destroy. Nice. Uh, and if we get lucky, if the math that random gods uh, are favorable, we'll get a power up. So okay. based on the color of the ball, or, or the power up, you can get different, different uh, power ups. This is the long power up. And if nice. we, eventually we might get like a multi-ball power up and everything like that. You can play around with it too if you want. Sure, I might <laughs> lose, but we'll see. If you hold left shift, it'll move the pedal faster. Okay. Well. Oh, awesome. So what, what were some of the more difficult parts of implementing this project? Uh, probably a lot of the collision detection. Uh, I, I was having problems especially with the, with, uh, you know, the blocks that take multiple hits to destroy. Okay. Uh, like the, the ball would like kind of clip through them and they would like, it would do all sorts of weird stuff like removing Ooh. a bunch of... Uh, it would it would do a bunch of stuff like removing a bunch of uh, like too many hits from the ball the blocks and everything like that. Cool, nice. And so, what made you decide to do the games track and to make this game? Uh, you know, I'd I'd, uh, I'd done web before, and uh, you know, I didn't have a, a ton of interest in doing any of the mobile tracks. And so, like games was something I've kind of always been tangentially interested in. And it was a really fun project. Like I found Lua to be like really similar to JavaScript, which is a language that I've always kind of enjoyed just having like event listeners and stuff like that. Um, but overall, it was really fun. You know, I, I spent a lot of the kind of holiday season doing this and this was like, you know, pretty enjoyable. That's awesome. And what made you take CS50 in the first place? Um, so I actually had just moved to, uh, to Cambridge about four months or so ago and a friend of mine said, oh, there's this great class at, at Harvard University through the Harvard Extension School that you can take called CS50. And originally I thought it was gonna be an entirely online class, but you know, I got an email and they said like, oh, like come to the lectures and you can come to the section. So I got a ton of opportunity to interact with a bunch of Harvard students, undergraduate, graduate students, and it was a really fun experience. That's good, yeah, you'd recommend it to others? Absolutely. Cool, cool. <laughs> what, what, were, what do you think was the best part of CS50? Ooh, um, honestly, a lot of the staff is really awesome. Um, no, seriously, like the, the TAs, the course heads, like everybody in the staff is really, really awesome. Everybody is kind of like, they understand that this is like, especially if you're learning it for the first time, is hard stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, it really is kind of like going into the whole program with like a staff around you that kind of feels like that was really useful. That's awesome. I, we love to hear that. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much for joining us and yeah. showing us a little bit about your project. All right. And uh, have fun at the rest of the fair. All right.